hello everybody good morning i hope you guys are doing very well so i would be very happy if you subscribe my channel and hit the like button on this video uh, and and what i want to say is like uh, so please do comment on my videos so that i can understand what kind of video you are currently looking for so that i can prioritize and i will bring up those videos as well and have a wonderful day uh, with the good karma Okay, so today we're going to talk about something called Chaos Mesh. I think in our earlier video, we already talked about this and we will do certain hands-on stuff on this particular video. We will install the Chaos Mesh on my local machine and I do have a mini cube over there and I have created one some basic pod which has an Nginx and we can inject certain uh, faults and we can test it. And what I'm going to do is like, I will walk you through the console UI and we will test the faults. And then like, I will give my opinion about the product, how exactly this works. So without wasting any time, like we can get into the video. Um, we'll see you there. So what I'm going to do it right now is all about like I'm going to install this chaos mesh in my mini cube uh, in my local. So I have a mini cube uh, which is running here. Uh, you can see the status. It's all are running. All the cube components or chaos components are running here. And I've checked the pods and service. So these are all the chaos components which is running on the cube system. And I have added additional one pod which is Nginx. So I just installed the Nginx pod here and it has the related service as well. So if you go uh, this particular website here, 8080, so it will show the Nginx page. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to copy this particular curl URL and I'm going to hit this URL here and it should install the chaos mesh, uh, the pods. Okay, I think it is getting installed and we can wait for two more minutes and make sure that it is completely up and running fine. Pro, I think the pods are running now. It's waiting for running. Let's wait. Till then I will stop the video. I think it, it is installed now. So Q, I'll just see what are all has got installed here. Okay, you can see a lot of uh, the Chaos Mesh related pods are running here. It has a separate dedicated namespace called Chaos Mesh. Under this, it has a lot of components, a lot of pods are running here. So we have to focus on uh, Chaos Dashboard. This is the UI page where exactly you can see the Chaos Mesh uh, the page and it has a related service as well. So well, how you can identify the related service. So you, you will just put hyphen O wide sorry it's typo i have made it as hyphen zero okay so the chaos mesh it has the chaos dashboard service also running so it is running with the node port so node port i think we cannot access it because if you look at here so these are all the cube components are running on separate namespace sorry it has a separate uh, the ip range and these other pods are running on a different ip range i believe there is a bug with the uh, the mini cube and it has to get it fixed by KHS and uh, till then I have some work around like uh, we can change this particular service as a um, uh, cluster IP so how to do that one so you can edit this particular uh, the component uh, kubectl edit svc chaos dashboard hyphen n and chaos mesh <laughs> Okay, so if you look at here, we have the cluster IPs. You can delete these IPs and you can change the type as the cluster IP. Okay, now it has got edited. Now let's check how it is running. Oh, it has a lot of contents we have. I will just chop it into one single spec. Okay, now Chaos Dashboard is running with this. Okay, Dashboard. So here we have the two ports. It is running with the cluster IP now instead of Node IP. So it has the two ports. 
two double three double three it belongs to a new y two three three four it belongs to the Prometheus. If you look at to, into this particular the service, if you describe this uh, SVC service, here they have given some info about it. What is the port and what it belongs to? Oh, I think we have to edit it. Sorry. Here you can see this is belongs to the Prometheus 2334 and 2333 belongs to UI. So what we have to do it has a dashboard. So we can't quickly use this dashboard since it has been cluster IP. You have to forward the port actually. So how do you forward the port? So I would like to run 233. 2333 into 8180. I will make it as okay. And what is the port that you are going to forward it? So, this is the port. Okay, and the namespace is chaos mesh, chaos hyphen mesh. I'm sorry, I think it is running in NoHub. I will remove the NoHub as well. Okay, so what I'm going to do is like I'm going to use localhost 8180. Cool, now we have set up the chaos mesh in our environment. Now it's time to explore it. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll see you on the next video. Okay, <clears throat> so this is the dashboard here. You can see it. A lot of options are here. Workflow, schedules, experiment, event, archives, and settings are all things here. So I've already tested one experiment uh, before I recording this particular video. I was just restarting one of the pod by using, by injecting some faults. I will show you like how you can do. Uh, this is an experiment. You can click on the new experiment uh, link. Here you can see the Kubernetes. Here you can see the pod fault. So you can kill the pod, you can kill the container, you can uh, create a pod failure, and it's up to you like how do you want to do it. Okay, so I have selected by mistake it's pod failure. I will kill the pod actually. Okay, so before killing the pod, I would like to see what's the age of the pod. It's two minutes before I just restarted. Okay, we can restart one more time. It's not an issue. So I will just give the grace period one second and I will submit. Okay, and I will give an experiment info. This is running on the default namespace and I'm going to give the testing uh, pod testing something I will give because already giving the testing pod testing pod and then I will select the label. It, these things are not necessary, but I am trying to give this as a uh, this for to understand and I'm going to submit this particular uh, Experiment info. So once this is submitted and you can submit the entire flow Okay, so I think I have given now one so it has been created one second double before so you can see here uh, Ideally, it should restart the pod Okay, so you can see here so 11 seconds before it got restarted now so this is the fault just about restarting the Nginx. So there are a lot of uh, the faults here. You can see HTTP fault. You can make a request port. You can uh, make a request to delay. You can replace the request. You can response can be replaced. So you can response can be abort. So you by injecting these faults, like you can understand like what exactly happening, how you can recover whenever there is something and huge issues happening on the live environment. So these are the main intent of having this kind of the chaos mesh okay um, so i have just checked only the pod fault there are a lot of things are like that the kernel fault is also there one of the one of the the fault you can use it you can use a stress test so this is all about like uh, how many workers how many loads 
what is the memory what's the size how much you want to stress it and you can give the submit and it will automatically stress it the similar kind of faults that we do have if you have an aws fault as well so you can stop the ec2 instance you can restart it you can deattach the volume so by doing these things like you can understand like what exactly happening on uh, aws infra as well okay so there are two types of faults here one is totally dedicated for the kts and another one is totally dedicated for the host level the host level is like something you have something vm there you have some process which is running for example java process is running you want to inject some jvm fault you can inject it you should see you can create a latency you can stress it uh, you can uh, create an ex exceptions you can return something uh, not which is valid so these things that you can inject it same for the disk fault as well you can uh, right you can fill it you can i believe like this is the fulling and fulling that entire disk you can write and can uh, read the payload can increase it you can increase the read write op uh, io options so a lot of things are there in that uh, you can you can slowly you can install it you can explore it one by one okay i will walk you through on this particular uh, ui so this is a dashboard as i've told you so this is something called the workflow okay uh, workflow is here it's pretty important you can create a workflow so what is the intent of using a workflow is all about like uh, you can create a multiple faults at the same point of time so we have a single workflow which is you can in, we can invoke only one particular fault at a time so this is called a single workflow and serial workflow is all about like you can inject the multiple faults one by one so for example you are injecting the pod restart and you can wait for 10 minutes and then you can injecting the disk fault and you are injecting something called kernel fault so based on the serial you can inject the faults and you can run it okay and and you can use something called the parallel one parallel one is basically like you can inject the restart one you can inject the uh, kernel one you can inject the disk uh, io faults as well everything you can run in a parallel way so there is a no time limit and suspend task and http request i am not aware of much about this one but there are a lot of documents are there you can go ahead and you can check the documentation here and another one additional point is like you, you can create a fault here so basically like it will generate the yaml file and you can submit the workflow so there are the two types are here one you can do it through an ui and one you can write an yaml file and you can apply that particular yaml file and then and once again it will the chaos uh, the faults will get injected you can start verifying and you can testing it actually okay so this is all about the faults and scheduler is basically like you can schedule the faults uh, on what timing that you want to run it so based on uh, what is the time so if you using a much aware of the cron tap okay so i have a release today so every 5 to 10 minutes once the release is completely done i want to run this particular chaos and fault and i want to see whether how exactly this is working so this kind of uh, what you can say this kind of thing that you can do it by using a schedule actually okay and experiment i've already uh, explained it or oh, this is just to do one uh, one particular single fault to inject and you can see it okay even i'm not aware about it like what are the things that we are doing on the ui or what are the things are happening in the behind and all those things will get added up here okay this is a uh, the chaos mesh uh, how exactly the ui page is here a lot of documentation things are here so i missed one particular thing uh, you can manage multiple clusters in single uh, chaos mesh actually so you no need to so you have 10 clusters you no need to install the 10 chaos mesh uh, artifacts or pods to be running on those cluster you can have only one chaos mesh as a new management ui there you from there you can monitor multiple clusters so you there is something called remote cluster management so you can explore this particular config and you can run through it okay okay and there are a lot of things about the authentication uh, gcp authentication what is already there you can integrate it you can make sure like who has to log in and who has to log out and all those things you can yeah configure and integrate it okay so this is all about like uh, the chaos uh, mesh uh, my opinion about this particular tool is like tool is super cool ui is super cool uh, faults are the so i feel like we should have some more faults so for example if you see we have only the aws faults we have only the stop restart and detach volume there are too many things on the aws we can we have a lot of elbs we have s3 buckets we have um, the functions 
lambda functions and we need that specific kind of service falls on aws infra layer as well so the pod level is okay the pod level restart failure container kill and all those things are okay so pod level means like we suppose like for example like we wants to we are using something the uh, persistent volume so we want to detach and uh, detach and attach it like how exactly this the the cluster is working it so these things like if we if it is that we can add it actually uh, i will be very happy like if they have uh, used if they have continue to add a lot of feature here um, that's all uh, i have for today uh, thank you so much for checking out this video